Today, I wanna to talk about what is a cloud op and how I how I became a cloud op. So what is a cloud op? Is it just another made up fancy marketing term? I've been a cloud op for several years now and essentially it boils down to someone who primarily deals with public cloud services on a daily basis for 99% of the implement of the software that they implement. I think there are effectively three ingredients. First of all, you should be working with public cloud services. You should be ops heavy, so you're doing Doing a lot of operations in this cloud service is not just looking at bills or reports and you should be automating as much of those services and products and offerings that you can find. A cloud up is also responsible for implementing continuous integration and continuous delivery. Cloud ops also are advocates for as code so we're very big on infrastructure as code, configuration as code. I like to call HashiCorp's packer golden images as code. We also have a high attention to detail with regards to security and how we're implementing our code, how we're implementing the cloud services, making sure that the security policies are very tight. Uh, we have a high attention to detail to cost. We're always trying to optimize down costs. So we're trying to scale vertically and horizontally and bring down the, the amount of resources that we consume when we don't need to consume them in order to reduce costs. And we're always looking for optimizations within our own processes and within the tools that we use on a daily basis and we just aim to automate absolutely everything that we can. So my career into cloud ops was essentially, I started as a Linux administrator, a junior Linux administrator, looking after about 30 to 50 in Debian servers that were based on just whatever hardware my boss could find on eBay. In time, I then moved on to much larger companies and eventually I reached Rackspace UK, where I worked for just over a year, just as they were building uh, their own cloud, their own public cloud offering. And in fact, it went live and was public when I worked there. That was when I realized that I wanted to move away from dealing with the traditional setup, which, which was uh, physical boxes in a data center or even on-prem, and move towards just spinning up servers with the click of a button in a web console near instantly. I knew that that would be big. I knew that businesses and governments would want that. I could see why that would become very powerful. And of course, those cloud providers as well also implemented a lot of APIs and made the cloud automatable straight out the box. So eventually I moved on, moved on from Rackspace and just took jobs that involved cloud-based services in Amazon, Google, or whatever I could find. And also with organizations that were very keen to automate as many of the day-to-day -day tasks as possible so that I could be as lazy as possible. Quite frankly, a good administrator is a lazy administrator because they automate everything away, which is great because they remove themselves from the equation. And uh, it's the human that actually is the weakest link in the chain when it comes to managing complex infrastructures. So now I only look for biz big businesses and governments that are working in public cloud and are looking at using the tools or at least some of the tools that I believe are uh, fit for purpose and are the best options available on the market. So what tools do I use? So AWS is my primary public cloud choice. I like Google and Azure as well, but I primarily work with AWS. I prefer Terraform for provisioning infrastructure. Ansible is my choice for provisioning the operating system or rather updating the operating system as well as software, services, users. I use Packer with a combination of Ansible as well in order to manage my golden image, in order to manage my AMIs to ensure that they're up to date, that they're secure. I use GitLab for my SCM. So I prefer Git as my version control software. I think most people do at this point. I also favor GitLab for my continuous integration and my continuous delivery. Continuous integration is also one of the core components of any cloud ops job, as well as continuous delivery. That being said, these tools aren't the be all and end all of everything. You can actually use whatever tools work for you. These are simply the tools that I found have worked for me for many years in many different environments from small to large. And with that said, that is essentially a cloud op in a nutshell. So to summarize, a cloud op is someone who spends about 99% of their time working with public cloud services. They are automating as much as possible. They are refining their processes. They are automating as much as possible. They are optimizing as much as possible. They are reducing costs down as much as possible. They're keeping security in mind. They're tightening up that security. And they're using tools like Terraform, Ansible, these and things like GitLab in order to help deliver automation as quickly and efficiently as possible. And that is probably a really good brief introduction to what is 
and how I became a cloud op. Thanks for watching, I hope that that has been useful. If you have any comments, then leave them below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like the video too, because it lets me know that I am actually talking to someone and not just talking to this little camera here. It would be nice to know that there are some human beings out there. Hello, uh, I'm Mike, I've been the cloud coach, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks very much.